working on this little Suzuki Esteem and I'm having a hard time just having a hard time getting the spark plug boots out of there I mean it's just they are rusted I mean severely rusted apparently spark plug tubes were not coated with anything galvanized or corrosion resistant enough so what you do is you go to your cart and you get a small screwdriver like this and you just start cutting it no you don't start cutting it apart easy there killer you put it down the side here and lots of wiggling the more wiggling the better that way you don't get into it and then you spray some penetrating oil or some PB blaster down there and just kind of work it and wiggle it a little bit and then do the same thing notice how I start on the uphill side isn't that interesting I wonder if there's a reason why I do that yep it helps it to run down around the rest I don't know how well you can see but the spring in the middle is pretty corroded too so we're gonna go ahead and replace these uh, horrifically nasty spark plug tube wires boots whatever you want to call them but anyway that's the trick to getting them out otherwise you will have to cut them out and it will be very difficult so I went to pull this one out I wiggled these I use my wiggle twist technique as much as you can when these are down in there um, but this one there was just no hope it just popped completely out of there I'm gonna try sticking it back in for kicks and giggles no nope, it's not gonna come anyway that's how you do it the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a long pair of needle nose pliers and uh, reach down the side wall of that little critter I'll probably just use these angled ones but anyway you want to grab in the middle and grab off to the side and I don't know honestly I have no idea if the whole thing's gonna come out or if I'm just gonna embarrass myself but I'm gonna try to twist it get a little rotation do a little wiggle pull and it still isn't coming it's just that stuck huh I'll do the same thing on the other side I said every scenario especially when it comes to oxidation you don't know what you're gonna get so just try to take the precautions that you can and go from there all right I'm starting to not care about this thing I got new ones on the way maybe I will have to carve it out it's a lot easier if you don't have to but there it comes so uh, you saw it here first and this one ironically enough doesn't have near as much rust as say its next door neighbor cylinder number three or the one after that cylinder number two I pulled cylinder one to discover this and I taped it up and cleaned it but we still had an issue of course because we didn't replace the spark plugs about to remedy that along the same lines of replacing the boots as I got looking at each of these ignition coils as you might expect whenever you have moisture that's trapped in a confined space and then warmed a lot of that moisture is going to turn to steam and go to the top and when you look in each and every one of these ignition coils you'll find that the inside of them they've got a little screw in there and it's just badly badly rusted so if you have a great deal of resistance right at the coil it's no wonder that these things and it didn't show any misfire codes ironically I think that it was consistent across the four of them that the knock sensor wasn't able to determine which of them was misfiring but rest assured I'm sure it was so I may have to pull those screws out if possible and replace the screw at least if not I may have to replace each of these ignition coils and this is one that we just did an idle air control motor because of stalling the idle air control motor was bad because it was overworked and uh, just a couple things here and there that just aren't right fortunately for them on this count the mass airflow sensors behind here um, but it was filthy because as you can imagine it wasn't filtering or preventing dirt from getting to that sensor it was pretty dirty what a project this car's become nine out of ten dentists concur that clean new spark plugs work much better than rusted corroded ones as for the wires and the rusted springs inside which do you prefer so we're gonna be putting these ones in now in order to keep things good and long lasting the way that we like them to be we're going to use a couple of products we're going to be using Permatex dielectric tune-up grease and this will be applied to the top of the plug and it will also be applied um, inside the little tops of here where the ignition coil meets with the spark plug wire 
we're also going to be using anti-seize. Now if you were thinking that these were a little tough to get out because they were so rusted, you'd be right. I'd use PB Blaster to break them up just to get them out clean. What we're going to do is we're going to take this. Uh, a jar like this for doing tune-ups will last you the rest of your life. I'm not kidding. It lasts a long, long time. Let me show you how to get that kind of a result out of it, but still use enough. Maybe you ought to open the jar before you start filming. That might be a good idea. So you take this and you apply a little bit just at the very end of the plug. Just a little dab will do you. You ever heard that before? Uh, so you just put a little bit on the end there. Now what happens when you go to put these plugs in and you rotate them and tighten them down in, that's going to smear all the way around and all the way down. You don't want too much of it in there. You don't want to coat the inside of your uh, cylinder with it. You do want to be able to cover the spark plug appropriately. So that's what we'll do. As for the dielectric silicone, um, usually what I'll do is I'll just put it on the boot itself. That's the easiest way to get it on the tip because the tip's going to be there here in just a minute. So I'll make a little blob about that big. I'll smear it against one side and then drag it to the other. And What that does is it creates a bridge or a cap across the top of that. Now when you go to put the spark plug on it's going to plow right through that. I'll show you just quickly. So you put that on like that see how it coats everything all the way around the spark plug and that way you're not wasting and using a whole lot of it necessarily but you're getting a lot of coverage from it so a couple of tips and then that way this won't rust up it'll be easy to pull this off when the time comes they won't get stuck the way that the rubber dries and cooks onto the plugs it will prevent that from happening so this will pull out easily and then also when we put it on the tip on these springs you can see the rust on that one you can see a little bit of the color. I know this isn't the best camera for this, but um, that'll help keep that from getting rusted as well. So here's what the ignition coil looks like before. Yes, there is a screw in there. It's just so covered in rust. And here's after soaking it in PB Blaster, blowing it out with the air compressor, and then taking the Dremel tool and using a little stone bit and just buzzing on the top of it. So I've done that to uh, these three and then I saved one to show you but as you can see there is no you can't really see it's just all dark with rust but that's what we're doing so that should be able to get good continuity from uh, the ignition coil to the spring on the new uh, spark plug boot